I accidentally discovered this super weird behavior when running an artisan command. It all started when I was debugging an issue with a background process. The first problem was, it doesn't even exist. There was a custom worker, but our infrastructure was clearly running custom work. But before I started making assumptions, I added a little debug to confirm it is the same command being run. PHP artisan custom worker worked as expected. PHP artisan custom work also showed the debug. There must be some fuzzy matching logic happening here. I thought, let's try something other than the custom worker. Let's try Tinker. What's going on here? I remembered, I've seen something like this before. So I ran php artisan c colon w and even this run our worker. There must be something going on per namespace. How short could we make this though before something breaks? Yeah, I guess as long as the command is not ambiguous. Even though I had resolved the original issue, I needed to understand what was going on. So I did a little bit of source diving. I discovered when a command fails to be located within the Symfony console package, a dynamic regex is created to match the known command. Let me explain what's going on. When we run our artisan command within the terminal, it passes it to the Symfony console applications find method to try and match a known signature. The string is then split on the colon into an array of strings. This is where our first pattern match is introduced, matching zero or many characters, which isn't a colon, followed by a colon. Our strings are then glued back together. The next pattern is almost identical, but without matching the colon at the end. This is then appended to the end to give us our final regular expression. If we were to change the input to work instead of worker, the regex would change accordingly even if we provide just single characters and more namespaces. If we look again at the custom work example, what would happen if we introduced another worker, which would suddenly make our process ambiguous? Say, customer worker, for example. Deploying this new code would break a completely unrelated process. Hopefully, you figure this out before it reaches production or, well, yeah, you know how that goes. So I think, using abbreviations violates the open-closed principle. The reason that we close code for modification is that once it's considered stable, editing it increases the risk of introducing bugs and unintended consequences. But abbreviations allow this to happen. They allow new commands to break previously stable processes. Do I think you should use these abbreviations? Sure, go nuts. Locally, for your developer experience, but please do not use this in production. Leave the magic in Disney World. Well, I hope I prevent at least one person from using abbreviations in a production environment. So thanks for watching the video. Um, just getting started, I've been told that the first few videos won't get any views. So if you've made it this far, I really appreciate it. I'm starting out with just trying to do some short videos and until I get a bit better and then I'll, I'll, um, I'll tackle something a little bit bigger. And if you've got any advice, please stick it in the comments and I've been told that I have to ask you to like and subscribe. So if you liked the video, please like it and uh, subscribe if you want to see more content.